Hey, shalom to the elect. I want to start by giving all the praises, honor, and glory to whom it rightfully belongs, which is Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh is the one of the world ignorantly calls God. Yah means he, and Hawa means to be or exist. So Yahweh's name means he is or he to be or he exists. Bahashim means in the name. Ba means in, Ha means the, Shem means name. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Messiah. Yahweh Shai is the one of the world and it really calls Jesus. Yahweh Shai, his name means he is the savior or he is the deliverer. Yah means he and Yahweh Shai means savior, deliver. And Yahweh and Yahweh Shai are not so-called white men, they're so-called black men. Bahashem, once again, meaning in the name. Rechal Kodash, meaning the Holy Spirit. With Rechal, meaning spirit, and Kodash, meaning holy. So I saw the praises, honor, and glory belongs to Yahweh. In the name of Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, every well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. And this is a lesson, you know, pretty much going into how we're pretty much going into this scripture right here, Isaiah 33 and 6. All right. And, you know, because I was, you know, going over this with a brother, man. This, man, yo, it's very, it's very, man, man, it's a powerful scripture. All right. So this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 33 and verse 6. It says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. And this is the fear of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai shall be a slack. The fear of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai is his treasure. Okay? So, it says the stability of thy times. So, what's going to be the stability of our times? The wisdom and knowledge and understanding that us brothers here, I teach the same doctrine that GMS teaches, and only that doctrine. It wasn't not us understanding that we have in this truth and that we get in this truth. When all, all right, see? The Lord is, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is preparing us, man, when all this, when this place breaks loose. But this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is going to be, it's going to keep us stable, okay? So these people out here, they're not going to be stable when all hell breaks loose. They're going to be freaking out. You know, all scared, wondering why, wondering what what happened, wondering why is everything happening, you know? Trying to put stuff together, but see, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of this truth is going to keep us stable, all right? Because we're going to understand what's going on. We're going to understand what's, what's uh, you know, why it's happening. We're going, to, we're going to understand what's next. You know, we're going to know all these things. So therefore... It's going to keep the men of the Lord calm. Okay, it's going to keep the true men of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai calm. All right, and you see in, on the NLT version, Isaiah 33 and 6, it says, In that day he will be your sure foundation, providing a rich store of salvation, wisdom, and knowledge. The fear of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai will be your treasure. It said, A rich store of salvation, wisdom, and knowledge. You see? So, hey, the thing is, Get as much of this truth as you can, and I'm gonna just get some reasons for I'm thinking about it. You see, because these people in the world, you see how Jake is, man. We out there preaching and shit's truth, but Jake don't want to learn. You know, Jake don't want to listen, man. You see, Jake don't want to listen. Meanwhile, all hell is gonna break loose. Okay, you know, but since they don't want to listen, you know, they focused on getting money. You see, you hear Jake all the time. Let's get the bag, chase the bag, chase the bag. You know. But it's what the scripture says in the book of Proverbs, chapter 11 and verse 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. You see? So riches, and on the NLT version it says, <laughs> riches won't help on the day of judgment. And this is in the Bible. It says, but, living, but right living can save you from death. Right. And Jake, no, Jake, Jake know they ain't living right. You know? Jake don't care about living right. Jake out here murdering, stealing, committing wickedness. And the Lord sent his prophets out there to tell him to repent and to stop doing all that. Well, Jake don't care. Jake will make fun of us, you know, because we're out there, you know, in our garments, you know. But little do they know, man. They looked at all the stuff that doesn't help. They looked at chasing women. They looked at the fancy clothes. What the hell is a Louis Vuitton? t-shirt 
or Mary Jeans or whatever gonna do for you when you gotta run from some truth to something or when you can't eat? What the hell is that gonna do for you? You see? So you know, you're gonna have to turn, you gonna have to turn to eating them things. It happened before in 70 AD. People was eating, Jake was eating belts and all that. All right, leather, all that stuff, man. All right, no conditions is coming back, okay? They're going to eat each other. So scripture says Deuteronomy. And see, the thing is, when, you know, you got to think, my man, you got to think how about me, I was shy for bringing, for how, you know, for us understanding this truth, all right? You got to, you know, being able to understand the truth, you got to think how about me, I was shy, you see? You know? Because we understand that, you know, people are going to be eating each other. This is Deuteronomy. And see, the thing is, the fact that you will understand that people are going to eat each other. So when it does happen, you ain't going to be freaking out. Like the next person. Deuteronomy 28 and 52. It says, And he shall besiege thee in all thy high gates until thy high and finished walls come down, where thou trustest throughout all thy land. And he shall besiege thee in all thy gates throughout all thy land, which how will Bahashim I will the power I have given thee. Verse 53, and thou shalt eat the fruit of thine own body, the flesh of thy sons and of thy daughters, which Yahweh Bahashim I will thy power hath given thee in the siege and in the straightness wherewith thine enemies shall distress thee. Alright? And this happened, you know, back in 70 AD, you know, um, because the Romans, you know. They uh, surrounded Jerusalem. They cut off all the, the food supply, the water supply, all that. I saw this famine, you know, and Jake turned into um, eating each other, all right? And those same things is going to come back. This devil cutting off the food and water and stuff. Jake going to eat each other, man. You see how Jake fight over food? Man, I remember a video of these two fat-ass niggas, man. They um, fighting, you know, over eating, you know, over, over ramen noodles. You know, so just imagine how much more in that day, man. They're going to be fighting. And see, our people, man, this, let me just say this, man. The scriptures talk about, eat, you know, and famine, people eating each other. The scriptures talk about that. There's one account where the woman says she hath hid her son that we may eat him. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, this is the book of 2 Kings chapter 6. Um, starting in verse 27. Uh, matter of fact, no, it's lucky. Starting in verse 24. It says, And it came to pass after this that Ben Hadad, king of Syria, gathered all his host and went up and besieged Samaria. And there was a great famine in Samaria. And behold, they besieged it until an ass's head was sold for four score pieces of silver and the fourth part of a cab of dove's dung for, sil for five pieces of silver. Verse 26, and the king of Israel was passing passing by upon the wall. It says, there cried a woman unto him, saying, help my lord, O king. And he said, if you have a boss me, I will shy, do not help thee. Whence can I help thee? Out of the barn floor, or out of the wine press? Verse 28, and the king said unto her, what aileth thee? And she answered, this woman said unto me, give thy son that we may eat him today. And, and we will eat my son tomorrow. So we boiled my son and did eat him. And I said unto her on the next day, give thy son that we may eat him. And she had hid her son. You see? <clears throat> so, yeah, man. You see the conditions of famine? So this is coming. So, you know, the scriptures talk about second verse 16, that famine is going to come as well, you know? So yeah, there is a famine coming. And once again, famine just means that, you know, famine doesn't mean that there's, you know, not a lot of food. It's like it, it's like it, that's wrong. Famine means, famine doesn't mean that there's no food. It just means that there's not a lot of it. And, you know, and it's very hard to get to. That's what famine is. Famine doesn't mean that there's no food at all. All right, but you see the Lord is gonna, you know, allow his elect to eat in that day, you see? That's the thing, man. You know, you may take the time out, you know, to study and learn your scriptures, you know, instead of doing all everything else, you know, partying, going out to eat with your friends and stuff. All that bullshit, man. You know, 
I'm talking about, you know, there's nothing no wrong, but I'm just saying, you know, you doing that and not doing the things for the Lord, all that partying and, you know, the these world people do, you know, you could, you could hang out with brothers, you know, you could go places with brothers and things like that, you know, but brothers are studying, you know, brothers want to, you know, get, you know, study and be in this, and be in, and do this work, you know. And you can you can hang out with brothers. I've hung out with brothers before, you know. Go out to eat or something. Maybe go do an activity with brothers or something like that. All right. But the point I'm trying to make is, if you you know, I, if, if, how how would you you know, unless you watch the videos and heard the brother say to break it down or, but you know, how how would you know that the Lord is going to feed his men during the time of you know times of trouble when all when there's a famine? How would you know that? You know, unless you know we're listening, you know, and reading these scriptures. All right. Let me get that because I wanted to get that too. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 38 and verse 24. It says, the wisdom of a learned man coming by opportunity of leisure. And leisure is when you got free time, you know, your downtime. That's what leisure is, you know. Leisure is when, you know, you're chilling. So it says, the wisdom a learned man has, he gets during his downtime, his leisure. Okay, that's where he acquires his wisdom. All right, it says, and he that has little business shall become wise. Right, and business means, you know, an activity some somebody's engaged in. So, if you got a little, if you don't have much going on, you got more time to learn about this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, receive this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Okay, verse 25, how can he get wisdom that holdeth the plow and that glorieth in the gold? And that driveth oxen, and is occupied in their labors, and whose talk is of bullocks. He giveth his mind to make furrows, and is diligent to give kind and, and to give kind to father. So how can you get wisdom if you got all this business going on? You know. You know, so you don't want to have too much, too too much going on. You know. Make time, make time to get the wisdom. Now I understand all these scriptures, the true wisdom from the correct teachers. Which is the apostles and others, the great millstone, and the brothers and sincere brothers under them. Okay? Get it, man. Because eventually, people ain't going to have it. it this, this wisdom now, I'm standing, ain't going to be accessible. You know? Get it, man. Get it. Get it. Get it. This is the book of Proverbs 2 and 1. My son, if thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, so that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom and apply thine heart to understanding. Yea, if thou criest after knowledge and liftest up thy voice for understanding, if thou seekest her as silver and searchest for her as for hid treasures, then shalt thou understand the fear of Yahweh Bashmiah was shy and find the knowledge of the Most High. For Yahweh Bashmiah was shy, giveth wisdom. Out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them walk uprightly. See? You gotta, you gotta want this knowledge with understanding, man. You know, you got to want this, all right? And it said he lays up sound wisdom. And you, 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 that's, that's where you going to find it? In the scriptures. Not on Facebook, okay? <laughs> Not no party. Damn sure ain't going to find, you know, no <clears throat> good, what, good, good knowledge with us thing at no damn party, you know? Not from no goddamn woman, you know? But from these scriptures. All right, so you're going to find a true 100 you know, and, and learn it from the correct teachers, which is, once again, the apostle there is a great millstone because you got to be taught. Acts 8, verse, I'll get it. I'm going to get all the scriptures now. I'm thinking about it. Now, I'm going to just go ahead and get the scriptures I'm calling. This is the book of Acts, chapter 8, verse 30 to 31. And Philip ran to the tomb, and he, and he and heard him read the prophet Isaiah. And he said, Understandest thou what thou readest? First, so Philip running to him, you know, this man was reading scriptures and he was like, do you understand what you're reading? Verse 31. And he said, how can I except some man should guide me? You know, and look at the word guide. It's like, I don't know why it's not playing. Strong's G 3594 Hadegea. Hadegeo. All right, and it says to be a guide, lead, lead on one's way to God, to be a guide or a teacher. So you have to be taught the scriptures. All right, 
can't lean onto your own understanding. You have to be taught these scriptures from the correct teachers, which is the apostles and others great millstone. Okay? You know, it's sincere brothers under them teaching the same doctrine as them. All right, you gotta have the same doctrine. All right? And lessons will go up daily, man. Daily, all hours of the day. You wake up and it'll be lessons. Notice, go, go, man, click that, man. Turn on the YouTube notifications. You know, subscribe to, you know, all you, you just, you know, type in GMS. You know, for example, one of the elders' pages is uh, GMS Info Doc Channel 12, all in one word. Uh, elders in Transit 3, Daily Edification 4, GMS, uh, keep pushing or keep pushing on, you know? You can see the brothers' channels under the comments and all that, man. You know, if you got, you know, you got a question about the scriptures, you can ask your brother, you know, from, of GMS or, you know, type it in on um, YouTube, okay? You know, for example, you may want to learn more, more about John 3.16, you know? John 3.16, GMS, you know? Yeah, man, but you got to be taught the right way. Okay, and also one thing I wanted to get to in that scripture, Isaiah 33 and 6, is that word stability. You know, and that's another thing. You know, women love confidence, okay? They like a man who's confident, right? So when you see the next man freaking out versus, a, you know, when you see the next man freaking out versus a man of the Lord who's just calm and chill because you know what's going on, you know, <laughs> she's going to gravitate to that man. You know, these women, they're they not going to be out here. They're not going to want to walk around the streets at 2 a.m., 3 a.m. in the morning, 4 or 5. They be up to, they be out here till the goddamn sun come up, man. All right? These women will walk the street till the sun comes up. They're not going to want to do that when all hell breaks loose. You know? They're not going to want to do that. They're not going to want to be independent when all hell breaks loose. Because they know they're going to get their ass took and killed. When I say took, you know what I'm talking about. All right, great. Okay, you know, but let me look at this word, stability. Stability, Strong's H530, Hebrew word is, I'm a, it's like, I'm a wana, I'm a wana. It says firmness, fidelity, steadfast and steadiness, right? Gonna keep you on point, man. Ain't gonna, you know, you're not gonna be fearful. Really, you know, you're not gonna be freaking out. You see what it is. All right, no, I know I got the scripture yesterday, but you know, it talks about this. This is the book of 2 Ezra, the fifth chapter, starting in verse 9. The salt water shall be found in the sweet, and all friends shall destroy one another. Then shall wit hide itself, and understanding withdraw itself into his secret chamber. It shall be sought of many, and yet not be found. You see? We're going to be looking for the men of the Lord. This is going, also going to the family of the word. Okay, people are gonna be looking for the men of the Lord and ain't gonna find them. Amos eight and eleven tells you that. All right, you know, says so then shall unrighteousness and incontinency be multiplied upon earth. Verse ten, verse eleven. One land also shall ask another and say, "Is righteousness that maketh a man righteous going through thee?" And they shall say, "No." All right. So once again, people are gonna search for the men of the Lord, but won't find them. All right. Oh, yeah, and also um, says, it shall will hide itself and understand it, withdraw itself into a secret chamber and shall be sought of many and yet not be found. Okay? So people going to be seeking answers. All right? They're going to be seeking understanding of what's going on and what to do, but they're not going to find out, man. They're going to be asking why. You know? And you know how it feels when something when something bad is happening and you don't know what, you don't know what to do. You don't know. <laughs> That, that moment of you just don't know what to do. You don't know where to run, where to go, what to do, what's happening, why it's happening, what's it for, and what's the result of this, you know? What it's gonna all come to, you see? All those answers could be answered, you know, in the scriptures. All of those answers, why everything is happening, because the Lord is, is, is you know, the Lord's, you know, Jacob's troubles prophesied in the scriptures, all right? You know, the Lord's, the, the Lord's going to bring hell. The Lord don't lie. All right? And and, and um, this has to happen in order for Yahweh Shai's, you know, to, to return and for us to get the kingdom. You know? What to do. Keep the faith. You know? 
keep the faith and trust in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know, walking in, walk in his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know. You can see, all that stuff is going to be precious in that day, man. It's precious now, all right, because, hey, we use, we use this wisdom even now, man, you know. We use it even now, you know, navigating amongst these people and stuff, man, you know. We use it now, but people going to look for it as for gold in that day, man. It's going to be like gold to these people. You know? And this wisdom ain't given to everybody. Okay? But 2 Ezra 5 and 11, One land shall ask another and say, Is righteousness that maketh a man righteous going through thee? And it shall say no. This is prophecy, man. This is prophecy. Verse 12, At the same time shall men hope, but nothing obtain. They shall labor, but their ways shall not prosper. All right, so verse 11, you know, People gonna search for the men of the Lord, but won't find them. And then verse 12 says, at the same time shall men hope, but nothing obtain. They shall labor, but their ways shall not prosper. You see? People are gonna be trying, you know, put different plans and things together, hoping and praying. But their plans and their hopes that they, you know, do ain't gonna work because it's the time of the Lord's judgment. You see? And you know, Jake gonna be trying to do that too. But it's too late. The Lord already told Jake to repent. Lord told Jake that already, but via his men, but Jake just laughed, you know, so, hey, that's, that's the judgment, man, so get as much of this as you can, get as much as, you should share like minded brothers out there, teaching the doctrine that GMS teaches, get as much of this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding as you can, you know, from the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, okay, read these scriptures, understand them, and this goes to me too, you know, this goes to me too, man, you know, this is what's going to keep you stable when this society collapses. You see? <clears throat> Not no gun. All right? And that's the thing. Once again, Jake, I want to get all the meat off the bones. I meant to say this a little earlier when I was doing this, you know, a, little, a couple minutes ago, you know, I was doing this, you know, while doing this lesson. But, you know, Jake, they looked at all the other things except, aside from turning to the Lord, you how about you, I was shy, and having this truth, Okay? Because really, you know, you're going to need Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah on your side, man. You know, to protect you, okay? To, to feed you, and you know, while it's a famine, you know? You're going to need the Lord for all of that, you know? So, hey, man, you know? But, but Jake, Jake ain't listen to that, you see? With the man of the Lord, the elect, they're going to have the Lord on their side, all right? They're gonna they're gonna have you have a Bahashim Yahweh Shah on their side, man. You know? And the thing is, you know, once again, man, you gotta really thank you how a Bahashim Yahweh Shai for the apostles and others great millstone, okay? Because they put out videos. I remember Elder Kazak, you know, I believe from Mississippi, he put out a video one time, something along the lines of what are you gonna do when society collapses? You know, he was telling us what we should do, which is trusting the Lord, how how we're gonna eat and all of that, you know? thing is you got to be diligent man you know <clears throat> look up these scriptures go into it yourself understand it and believe it all right so yeah man you know just wanted to make this lesson get as much as knowledge was understanding as you possibly can man. because all hell is going to break loose the society is going to collapse all right and also once again i'll keep bringing this out all right this is the book of Colossians, chapter 4, and verse 5. And it says, walk in wisdom toward them that are without. Redeeming the time. All right? You know? <clears throat> and on the NLT says, live wisely among those who are not believers. So you got to walk with wisdom towards these people, man. You know? You got to be walking wisdom, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding towards these people. You know? So how much more... In the time of Jacob's trouble, okay, using that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding out here, you know. So yeah, man, the Lord wasn't just some zedifying. I'm gonna give all the praises, honor, and glory to the life that belongs, which is Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakhakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, every well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. Peace from Hebrew, Shalom to Shalom to the elect.